Um, so, uh, do you do you remember uh, questions? How was your impression? Was it very complicated? Uh, did you no, no, know no. everything? Did you did you have no, feeling that you you uh, are very competent? Could I mean, I think I did. Oh, really? really? Okay. Yes. So, Rin, your attendance was very good. So, uh, I think you didn't have any problems. Shouldn't. Yeah, I didn't have any problems. Yeah, I shouldn't have because everything was, you know, explained and everything what we did in class, nothing, nothing extraordinary. Yeah, no, it was easy for me. Very good, very good. So, for students who attend my lectures, all exams are easy. So is it going to start at like 10.30 or, because I think everyone's away because they think it's going to start at 10.30. Why? We usually start at 10. Yeah, and I don't know where yeah. everyone is. But I'll message Maria, I think she might no. be online. We have uh, Gazal, we have Payal, yeah. Who else? We have Reem, Sophia. What people we have. Wonderful. Yeah. Okay, I don't know where Maria is. I think she's asleep. We will start. We okay. have just uh, ten and ten, two minutes. So, as usually, we are a little bit waiting people to switch on. So, who else we have? Payal, Sophia. Sophia, uh, how was the uh, exam? How was your impression about the exam? I think it was it was kind of easy <laughs> for me. Hi. Yeah, but I think it's, it's good Hello. overall. <laughs> yeah, uh, because I, I can tell those students who attend my lectures, they shouldn't have, uh, have any problems with exams. How was for you, uh, Marianne, exams? Hello? Okay, Payal? <laughs> Maria? Good morning. Good morning. How was uh, how was the impression uh, about exams? So you managed on time. Was it easy for you? For me? Yeah. Was easy, but um, the typing was just a bit stressful. <laughs> yes. Yes. Because I when you write by in the time. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> With typing, we need more time. Really? Oh, yeah, because people yeah. are, when they are writing, they are writing less or more in the, in the same way. But when they are typing, typing uh, speed is different, right? But this is new skill which, uh, which you have to learn. So... Oh, yeah, I think we have already. Uh, so, Alia, uh, you submitted exam first. So, what was your uh, impression about exam? It was fine because, like, I prepared for it, so I didn't have any problem except the drawing part. Yes, yes. So, um, you know, girls, I prepared that too for taking a uh, class. Hello. I prepared this exam for taking in class, and um, I, I actually didn't know. I was also confused how to how to totally arrange. A final exam will be different, and then I will take into account that we are not going back to college. But uh, I'm I'm considering uh, to give you 30 points for your portfolio. So you you know you are doing a lot of a lot of um, uh, um, activities on your own now. And how about how you did a silhouette? Have you done? Have have all of you done silhouette? Because you will have to submit this as a part of your portfolio. 
I yes, have seen I only, yeah, I have seen uh, only three uh, from three girls. So you you will have to all submit, yeah. Are you very busy with other yeah. subjects? Okay, I think we can start, yeah? Because it is already five minutes past then. Um, today we will talk about shape. We, we will talk about shape. So we have uh, what design elements we have looked at. Could you please mention? What do you remember? C shape, circle oh, no, no. design elements. Design elements. Oh. What are design elements? Oh, shape, silhouettes. And? Uh, lines. lines. Lines, yeah. So we have, we looked at silhouettes, we looked at lines, and today we will talk about shape, but also um, silhouette is the same as shape, yeah? But today we will talk a little bit differently about uh, shape. We will talk sh how shapes are created within silhouette. Because if you remember, some silhouette consisted of rectangle and triangle, or oval and rectangle. So there are shapes within silhouette, which are created by different uh, types of garments, because each garment might be in different silhouette, like straight skirt with a balloon-like top. Let's look what uh, shapes within garment is, are possible. Are you all see a yes. nothing, uh, nothing overlap? Yeah? You all see my presentation, yeah? So look, um, so silhouette is frequently sectioned in smaller shapes. It could be separated by seam lines, by details. For example, color is different shape, like ball or, or petal shape or bell shape. It could be cuff, different shapes pockets, of course, trims and closures. And also garment edges create a different type of shape. Uh, what categories of shapes do we have? We have geometrical shapes, abstract shapes, figurative shapes, and realistic shapes. Let's start with geometrical shapes. So these are geometrical shapes, and you are all aware of them square, hexagon, triangle, hexagon, it means six corners, triangle, diamond shape, circle, octagon, octagon, so how many corners? Eight, yeah? Here we have oh, six. What shape we are missing? It could be also trapeze, which is triangle, but which chopped off top. And here we don't have rectangle, yeah? So there is a rectangle missing. L let's look how, how they are presented in garments. So geometric shapes. Uh, seam lines could create geometric shapes. So you can see what geometric shapes seam lines are creating here. Here. Look, square. square, yeah, square. So, and here? Rectangle. Rectangle, yes. Maybe even some square. Yeah. So, um, we can create this geometrical shape with seam lines. Here we have samples of geometrical uh, shapes as a garment edges. So, this is, a, oh, these are edges, yeah? 
and it creates circle shape. Here, edge, uh, it's hard even to mention, uh, hard to invent, yeah? It's irregular, irregular shape. Here we have the six corners. What was the name? Let's check what name, hexagon. Here we have hexagon, yeah? Edges create. So here edges create circle, and there we have triangle. And then we have gum and detail. So these sleeves, we could call them balloon sleeves. You know that balloon is based on circle. Uh, this could be, um, it's like, uh, um, like, like, uh, not like color, but asymmetrical closure used as a color. So it is triangle shape. What else shape? Garment detail. So colors could be waistbands. What shape? Uh, we could we could talk in uh, about this detail. Which shape is rectangle? <laughs> rectangle. Yes. Here we have a uh, triangle, uh, like um, yolk. Yeah. If you have separated detail, it's called yolk, and this is in triangle shape. But pockets are in what shape? Square? Yes, square. So with geometrical shapes, it is quite easy. So let's remember seam lines, garment edges, and garment detail. Now let's look at abstract shapes. Uh, abstract shapes uh, don't have definite shape or form. Uh, these are more like uh, meaningless shape or personal interpretation. That could be spot, absolutely irregular, uh, random shape. Let's look if we can find them in a garment. Uh, seam lines. Look, yeah. Still looks quite um, geometrical, but you see they are curved, curved seam lines. Here we see very interesting inserts, yeah, very abstract seam line. We could say it is decorative line or style line, but it is totally abstract. And also this shape is quite abstract, or it could be arc shape. But in at the front, it is abstract. Let's look at decorative details. It could be fabric, could be different um, shapes in knitwear, also trims, and this decorative detail. These are all abstract shapes. And what else? We have we have garment edges. Garment edges also can be irregular, abstract, not reminding any any geometrical shape. Yeah. And garment detail. So as you can see, you even can't guess very easy what purpose uh, is for this garment detail. This is sort of mini skirt overlay. Uh, this could be hmm, hard even to to think what um, probably just decorative detail, yeah. And this, yeah, this could be uh, top, but very abstract shape. So one more time, let's look. So abstract shapes, seam lines, decorative details, with, which are sewn over, trims and prints. And then we have garment edges and garment details. Next would be realistic shapes, which really look like uh, um, in real life. They are not based on uh, geometrical shapes. 
no uh, ideas, no likeliness to original. Uh, so they are real. They are like uh, like photograph and like 3D perspective with perspective in, and depth. So we have we can see 3D effect. Yeah. So let's look at that in more you will find them into prints here you can see uh, faces very realistic these could be least realistic and these would be 3d masks very actual for nowadays my favorite designer uh, tom brown um so this is mask or or a hat and look at these funny boots and here realistic shapes wonderfully placed also uh, in embroidery just for a flattering body creating a specific illusion so this top or blouse will uh, look will make wearer to look slimmer because accent is just on this embroidered part in this case how do you think if you place bright colored trims on the hips does it make hip look slimmer or uh, it emphasizes curves Curve line emphasizes, yeah. How about this dress? Natural shape, realistic shape. Uh, what what is purpose here? Attract attention, yeah. And take off attention off side part. So actually, in this dress, uh, everybody will look slimmer. And also here we have how you can play with uh, different type of shapes. These are still uh, realistic shapes and you can make figure look slimmer with particularly smartly placing bright color accents in the middle, on the middle line, creating lines, your eyesight uh, just see these lines and focus attention in the middle of this flower bouquet. How about uh, this dress? For what purpose middle shape serves? It is actually a realistic shape also, which imitates uh, ladies' figure. And in, in this case, what this shape does? Emphasize the curves. <laughs> Uh, okay, yes, it uh, attracts attention to which part? Waist. Yeah, the waist. It, it gives illusion that waist is much, much narrower because you look at this realistic middle shape and rest of the body also seen following this shape. It takes all the tension off sides. As you can see, this model actually not very slim. Yeah, she doesn't have very tiny waist or very slim waist, but this type of uh, realistic shape helps her look slimmer. Do you agree? Yes. Just Alia? Is that just Alia? <laughs> no, no, we're here. Okay, please, yes, please participate. Okay, go. is not mentioned on the top? Sorry? Hello? Sorry, what did you say? Kazal, could you repeat your question? Sometimes the uh, no, uh, sound is not very clear. Um, I just wanted to hear, I lost your voice. Oh. Do you hear me? So look at this 
look at this uh, dress and also uh, realistic shapes are doing what visually making waist look look narrower or slimmer yeah very very smart way of making your customer or uh, model look slimmer in particular garment and here the same again you can see realistic body imitation sides are hidden by darker darker color also here this is not maybe not so clear realistic shape it's more abstract shape but still serves the purpose also this shape or oh, this is more body imitating shape so this is smart way how to um, emphasize your body good parts and cover up maybe problematic areas and last uh, last um, type of uh, figures uh, last type of shapes are figurative shapes um, they are symbolical shapes everybody knows what means cro cross everybody knows what means heart or uh, uh, moon and star or pumpkin and also you can apply in um, decor uh, to decorate garments for example crocodile everybody knows that this crocodile doesn't mean zoo or uh, it doesn't symbolize uh, what uh, some place some crocodile pool it symbolizes lacoste so these are symbolical shapes uh, which are also used, for example, in fashion. And they are interpreted, and everybody knows what means heart. And then we have 3D shapes, which is also in, uh, used in fashion design. As you can see, this corset, what type of shape is that? Triangle. Uh, yeah, it is, it, it, yeah, it is conus. It would be, if it is 2D, it is triangle. But when it is 3D, it turns into conus. Um, 3D shape also uh, it could be in accessories as a, a triangle or this abstract shape. Okay, do you have some questions? Do you have any questions? No, no. <laughs> yeah, so it is clear for you how to apply different type of shape within garment. So now uh, our next topic, we will talk a little bit about uh, body shapes because now we we'll, we are learning about um, design elements in fashion in garment but uh, our also our own body has particular shape and you can you uh, there are some basic shapes but we all are quite unique and so we learned we learned before that we have standard figures which are created by uh, manufacturers and in nature they appear quite rarely we all have some specifications with our bodies so yeah but uh, let's revise standard figure types so we have junior teenager figure they are usually uh, 5.3 inches you can calculate in centimeters usually uh, 165 100 yeah 165 usually uh, with not uh, exp 
uh, expressed contour, which means bust is still not uh, developed. It could be A size. And uh, for teenagers, they have very high uh, bust level because of uh, size, size of uh, bust. Then we have a uh, Missy, which could be taller, but uh, 1 meter 65 to uh, 175 or 170. And they are um, fully developed, mature, mature uh, female figure. And you can see what are um, UK size from 4 till 16, or from 0 until 16 <laughs> is petite. And then we uh, we have petite, and they have usually from zero 16, uh, until sixteen, size sixteen, yeah. But um, petites are uh, their height is like for teenagers. One meter sixty five could be the tallest. Usually one meter one meter fifty five till one meter sixty five. And then we have of course a woman, which is fully mature figure. Already, bust size could be any starting from uh, A until D, E, usually D. And then this is junior, this is miss, and this is woman. So, and women are petite and standard size 170, 175. And then we have large women, mature, heavy women. So now you can uh, analyze your own body. You are standard body shape if you are symmetrical. That means all body parts are balanced. Uh, you st stand straight. Your stand is upright, so it's not you are not lean, uh, you are not leaning forward you are not uh shaped backwards and you have ple uh, pleasing body proportions shoulders and hips usually are approximately the same way uh, the same width uh waist comes slightly in if it goes a lot in that's already our glass shape That means also standard body shape is you don't have any extreme. And when you gain a weight, you gain evenly all over your body. <laughs> and all uh, for standard body shape, usually all clothes look great on you. So you have uh, enormous, enormous uh, choice. How do you feel about uh, yourself? Do you feel as a standard? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. We'll see. We'll see now. Yeah? So, uh, you know, uh, these beauty, beauty competitions, world uh, beauty and so on, usually it is said that uh, for uh, beauties, uh, bust should be 90 centimeters, circumference keeps 90 uh, centimeters circumference but weight should be 60 so it is like beauty beauty standard who does have girl do you have this standard? me uh, who is that rihanna rihanna okay congratulations we have one standard with us I don't have. I don't have. Never I had actually. Either. Um. Yeah. You can. You can check. Yeah. These uh, parameters. Do you have less rim? I think I'm inverted triangle. Maybe. We'll see. This is the, our next task to find out. Yeah. Who we are. How other girls are feeling? Do we have any? Any other standard body shape with us? 90, 60, 90. Let me convert that to... 
go. Audio vis us. Yeah, but audio measuring. Yeah. I mean, audio measuring yourself. No. Uh, after this no, class. No, we should measure. But this is that proportion, yeah. Um, if you don't have 90, uh, maybe you have 85, 85, and waist is uh, 60, yeah. But bust and hips, if they are the same measurement, this almost is clear that that is standard uh, body shape. Oh. I, yeah. You have, Alia. Yeah, but like not 60 waist. Is it tinier? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I was that case, yeah? Uh, when I was uh, 20 years old, like in your age, I had 90, uh, no, I actually wasn't. I had 90 bust, uh, 88 uh, hips, and uh, seven, uh, 60 waist. No, oh. seven, 70 waist. So, so uh, how does it sound? How does it sound? I think I have the same. Waist is seven, 69. Mm-hmm. Waist is 66. I measured now, not 60. 65, 66. Okay, great. Okay, after yes. the, this conversation, you Yeah, my hip is 90. Wonderful, wonderful. Uh, I suggest all of you to stand in front of uh, Mira or ask your uh, bra uh, uh, sister to take picture of you when you are when you are in uh, uh, not in pajama but in underwear, yeah. And then you take what? that picture. So, Do you want me to ask my siblings to take a picture of me in underwear? Uh, or your mom in underwear and only for your own use and then you can analyze your figure. Okay. Yeah? Otherwise, you know, if you just, of course, when you just look in your mirror, uh, you can also see, but you might not be critical. But when you take picture and look at the picture, you can even draw geometrical shape. Yeah? Just for your own use. Don't be don't be scared, Rin. Okay, so look, these are ladies already in underwear, yeah? Not in underwear. Yeah, it is probably uh, yoga costume or some uh, or gym costume, yeah. So only in this type of uh, garment you can see your shape properly and analyze what shape you are because that is very important. And you see, does anybody look like standard body shape? How do you think? Go. Are you there? Yeah. 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 Okay. So, so different figures, right? Yeah. It's even hard to hard to understand if there is any any different. standard. So, okay, I'm kind of like pulling up, but I have a more defined waist. You mean uh, this girl? A coronet, but I have a more defined waist. My waist is smaller. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, after this class, you can measure yourself. And then the uh, next class, you can, uh, we can discuss. And you, you, it, it is very good that you analyze your uh, own figure because it helps uh, to dress not to emphasize uh, your disadvantages, but emphasize your advantages, what you have. And we will look uh, into that after one minute. So body type, um, it's, 
body type, you have to understand how your figure differs from the standard figure. Because standard figure is sort of ideal, and uh, then you have to understand where do you stand. What, what you should do uh, to look like a uh, standard figure, like ideal figure. However, it is very nice that we are so individual. So body type, uh, type this is described by height and shape of individual. So we all have different shape of body and also different height. So, and let's look at basic body shapes. Uh, these fig figure types do not signif signify age groups because in uh, any age, even in 70s, you, you might have an inverted triangle figure. If you do gym or it is genetical, you, you are dieting. These so, uh, body shapes are, don't, de uh, don't depend on age. This is just your body type, body figure, uh, body shape. So, um, have you heard about these body shapes before? Yes. Yes, I have. Okay. So, what you have heard and where and when? Um, like, people have certain body shapes. We have seen some. Yeah, and different types of clothes flatter those bodies. Like, if you're inverted triangle, you shouldn't wear, like, puffy sleeves or anything like that. Yeah, yeah, uh, very good. So you have educated yourself, obviously. Yeah. Or you have taken some uh, styling styling classes. No, I've educated myself. Oh, wonderful. How about uh, other girls? The same for me. Oh, okay. so when I just, you, you work I on... I believe many of you have heard this, but uh, let's discuss it together, yeah? Because it is very good if you never heard, uh, this is wonderful way to a little bit to find out. And uh, those girls who educated on this topic uh, your, uh, yourself, you can actively participate, yeah? So five basic body shapes. We have rectangle, we have pier, inverted triangle, hourglass, and apple. So, and now you can guess which type are you. How do you feel about your body? Triangle. So, who is that, Alia? Yeah. Yes. So, what what is your uh, feelings about your body shape? No idea at the moment because of quarantine, you are getting fat. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. We also be uh, apple shape, right? Maybe. When we when, when more like we watermelon shape, shape by the time quarantine is done. You know, I cannot imagine uh, uh, Fatima, uh, Fatima uh, becoming apple chef. But maybe you never know. <laughs> no, Fatima. you cannot. <laughs> Fatima. Uh, is there Fatima? No. Fatima Tatsa. Yeah. Oh God. You know the slimmest girl in our group, yeah. But you never know. Miracles mm -hmm. might happen. Yeah. But you will become a whole shape. Imagine fashion. Sure, now. definitely. <laughs> How is that? I know, already, right? <laughs> yeah. But actually, uh, you cannot become apple shape so easy. You know why? Let's open, open our ladies, yeah? So, for example, this bell shaped lady this one, which I'm showing. So if, if she is gaining weight, where she is gaining weight? 
sometimes if you have great hips then you will gain more weight on hips and you you cannot change your shape yeah this lady is definitely apple yeah so um, we have here this lady is lo um, called as a lollipop i think this is fatima yeah after quarantine <laughs> <laughs> after <laughs> but before so what else we have our glass oh do you agree this is our glass uh, so if you oh this is here yeah and if you are pear shaped after quarantine you are still pear shaped from pear you cannot become apple yeah because all your your uh, fat you will gain on hips like peers uh, do so i have another uh, another example so look at this yeah so uh, i can uh, uh, display myself as an inverted triangle i always have been inverted triangle so it makes uh, I can wide wide shoulders and narrower hips and where i gain weight uh, weight how do you think um like bust and arms yes yes and also wait yeah my arms are getting bigger but hips are still fine yeah so yeah me too massive massive uh, top i guess massive top uh but if you have normal triangle where you are gaining weight on the lower part then we have columns uh, fatima is column yeah? fatima i think you are only representative of column oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yes you know, after quarantine, you can become rectangle, but, <laughs> but you cannot become apple. Apple. <laughs> no way. Just rectangle. Yeah. Okay, but isn't petite a height? Because I would be petite then, because I'm short. Petite, yes. Uh, here we have uh, just petite and plus size. Petite is small, but also petite can be in... Uh, uh the same shape yeah but just her height is petite or a plus size plus size it could be large woman actually tall woman yes and then we have our glass do we have any our glass is that yeah so who we uh, who we have sophia sophia Dina. Adina? Sophia? Adina? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, maybe. So, okay. And look, they could be also called in different lang uh, different uh, names, yeah? So, here we can see standard shape. This would be curvy shape. However, uh, it is called uh, um, hourglass, yeah? You can see hourglass. So, very tiny waist and then uh, shoulders and hips look more massive because of very tiny slim waist top heavy shape yeah this is my case and then we have apple shape apple shape usually uh waist yeah it, it comes uh narrow shoulders this is a little bit it could be wide shoulders but usually narrow shoulders and then uh waist disappears yeah it goes out and again it returns to normal hips and this is pear shape when you have smaller top and bigger bottom i think now it is clear for you yeah Hello, so you have do you have any questions or it is or it is clear it's clear uh, miss modity yeah, yeah. Can you please send uh, this powerpoint and last powerpoint for us yes okay 
Okay. So this, uh, yes, I will send you a line, yeah, PowerPoint about uh, lines, and I will send you about this this shape, yeah. That's <coughs> what you are asking. Now, now I would like to show you. In my life, I have uh, illustrated one book which was about shape. And let's discuss that book. I'll try to find where is it. Second. Yes. So, um, I did offer it. I did offer it to illustrate book, which is about uh, color, shape, and style. So I analyze different uh, figures and try to invent what would look good uh, on each figure. And, but that is long time ago. And fashion has changed. That was 2000, yeah, so 20 years ago. So fashion has changed, of course, but anyway, we can look at that. So look, this is petite figure, yeah, and a plus, very hard to see, I know. Plus is what she is suggested to wear, and minus what she is suggested to wear. You cannot see? Oh, I didn't share, sorry. No, I sh I'm sharing. Do you see? No, it's blank. Dead. I don't see anything. Really? Okay, 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 okay. I will I will try again. Okay, can you see now? Yeah. Okay. So look at this, yeah. This um, model is uh, very tiny. She is petite. And what wouldn't be suggestible for her to wear? And she has a little bit high, no, no, a little bit low waist line. Can you see? Yes. So for the teeth, it's better if they are not wearing very long and uh, mm, high waisted stuff is good for her. Yes, high waisted and fitted, yeah, and everything small. They look very attractive. Uh, but if if they start wearing loose fitted or long dresses, they start. Uh, you can. It is obvious they want to look uh, taller, yeah. But it doesn't work like that. Uh, here you can see ladies' uh, big bust, yeah, and also plus size lady. So if she wears a fitted dress which emphasizes bust, it emphasizes bust actually even more. And if there is even uh, some trimming under bust, though, that attracts attention to size of bust. But it should be covered. Yeah. You don't you don't show bust at all. Uh, for example, this case if you have uh, inverted triangle figure. So you will try to compensate. So if you miss like inverted triangle, so which part of body you have to compensate? Where you should add to look like standard? Show. Hip. Yes, hip. So look, are you going to emphasize more your shoulders? Or you are going to emphasize heat, yeah? Heat, yeah. So you will emphasize heat. This is my case. I have to always emphasize heat and make my shoulders look smaller with halters, with uh, better to cover everything with the darker, darker color garments. So if you have a uh, peer figure. So which part you have to compensate? Shoulders. 
yes, you have to add a little bit to shoulders. Or if you can imitate yeah, a line, uh, you, you, you will just pretend that you are wearing a line and nothing to do with lower part of body. Yeah? If you cover, it will look like uh, more like garment, silhouette, yeah? rather than you, you have pear shaped body. So, like in this case, you are creating, you are following your body shape, and um, those who are looking at you, they are lost. They think that actually that, that's just silhouette of, uh, of garment. So, everything fine. But if you start wearing a puffy garment, then you look fine in, in the size, yeah? If you add too much on shoulders, you become like apple. So here we have uh, very narrow shoulders and larger hips. So here, yes, you will compensate shoulders. On the shoulders. <laughs> yes, with the fold. And you will never uh, wear halter and uh, A-line skirt because that will make you look twice uh, unbalanced, yeah? So here we have smaller size, uh, but with pear shape. So in this case, you will never emphasize your hips with uh, printed fabrics, with mini skirt, just tight fitted, yeah? You will try to slim your pear type uh, hips. Yeah, like in this case, and you will, will not, oh, yeah, and you will balance this enormous color, maybe. So, also petite, um, if, look, this is petite case, how to look slimmer. So, if petite is wearing hat with huge uh, sides, yeah, huge uh, base, then she will flatten herself. And if she's wearing mini skirts, yeah, she is also like, like, like a little bit suppressing herself, suppressing, yeah? But if silhouette consists of vertical lines, it will give this illusion of hi uh, height, yeah? So you can add this hat, this tall hat. So what, ah, here we have short neck. If for the short neck you will start wearing turtle type of color, then your neck will disappear completely. So you have to wear open neck, like in this case. So this part which you are showing will add to length of your neck, yeah? Or here different necklines. And then we have, if you have short part of upper body, short upper body, then you have to do what? You have to compensate, yeah? With, you are not going to emphasize how short is your upper part of body, but you will, you will create illusion that your body upper part is lower, yeah? With, Blouse and type of the garment. Yes? Gazelle, do you have some questions? Okay, if you have tall or long upper body part, then you will compensate. You are not going uh, to, to create even uh, illusion of longer by because if you have uh, this forget again how it is called yoke yeah if you have yoke part it will it will make your long upper body look even longer it could be good for this case 
but not for long upper body. You will try to lift it up a little bit. Go, are you with me? Yes. yes. Okay, is it useful? Yes. Yes. Okay. So, you know, you have to compensate. And the same, look, these are um, four figure type. So, no, not these, but these. So, these are four figure types. So, which figure type is this? How do you think? Rectangle. Rectangle. Yes. This type. Sphere. In triangle. Sphere. Yeah, sphere. Yeah, it could be. Also, normal triangle, yeah, or pier. Yes. There are two names, yeah. Then this one, probably hourglass. not very clear. Hourglass. Yes, hourglass. And this. Apple. Not apple. 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 Uh. Yeah. And we are uh, we are missing we are missing. Inverted triangle. So let's look at plus size, ladies. So here we have pier type of figure. So what you will never do, you will never emphasize lower part of the body, like in this case. It will it will make your lower part of body look even bigger. So you will try to compensate, yeah? And also, this wouldn't be appropriate because it really, like, if you have contrast colors, they really separate upper part and emphasize lower part. But this would be right, yeah, because it marks. And then we have, this is like sort of plum shape, yeah? So you will never emphasize, it's like a rectangle, yeah? And you will never emphasize that you are rectangle. So you will add a little bit wider or on the lower part of the body. Yeah, it could be also separated, yeah, in two pieces. So it will not look like whole rectangle, but it will look like square and then rectangle, yeah, also possible. So basically, if you have um some some disadvantages you have to invent very tricky way how to how to break it yeah how to uh, move your body closer to standard shape here we have again yeah uh, bigger lower Miss Moody, please. Yes. sorry i'm so sorry i will say i cannot hear anything and she uh, asking me, I should ask you about uh, when you record the class. Yeah. Uh, you put in LMS the class? No, no. Uh, it is the uh, class is very, very huge. Um, I, I have, I can try to uh, send by we transfer, but problem is, I'm not sure. Maybe I can place on YouTube, yeah? And then I can oh, yeah. send the down link. I will try, yeah? Yes, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so here we have huge lower part, yeah? Pier shape. And of course you are not, look what is going to happen if you um, emphasize, yeah? You even don't see wonderful top part, you just see unbalanced, and balance the lower path, yeah? So here you can pretend, yeah? Here you are pretending, yeah? By uh, your garment silhouette, so that garment silhouette and nothing to do with your body silhouette. And also here, yeah? You are hiding this garment silhouette. And it looks pretty good, yeah? Because top is narrow. You are showing your top part and hiding a line pilot flower body part. And what our lovely uh, apple woman? 
you see upper woman should cover waist because there is no waist there is no any waist and again she should pretend that that garment silhouette has nothing to do with the waist so she creates she creates a square yeah or rectangle or just wear over the same apple type of uh, garment silhouette and here here we have uh, rectangle large rectangle so again you have to separate the shape so any questions regarding how to balance body shape no just i need this this file yes okay so i would like that you um you do research on your on your own body shape yeah so you will you will find out what is your body shape okay and okay. then accordingly to that geometrical shape you will find silhouette how you could compensate yeah um, you can do it on a um, you can do it in a PowerPoint presentation or I don't know in which way it would be better or just uh, one sheet yeah and three examples for example just let me know your shape as a geometrical shape yeah whatever it is is it inverted triangle or it is a a line and then please uh, provide three samples which would be which would flatter your body shape deal okay okay so how are you doing with garment silhouette you have to complete that task i'm not giving anything else yeah okay i know three girls completed so far Yeah, so uh, until final, you also have to complete, yeah? Okay. Okay, so if uh, you don't have any questions, then let's finish today and see you next class. I hope you will do quick research on your uh, body shape. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't need your, I don't need your pictures uh, in underwear. I just need your conclusions, yeah? Okay. 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 See you. Moody, sorry, sorry. I will say, uh, could you please send the presentation because, um, yeah, she wanted a presentation and she can. Yes. I will try to do something. I will try to um, upload on YouTube. I I think I I can't send. No, maybe I can send. Okay, I will try. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.